Well, I believe I've had it since 97, and I wasn't diagnosed until November of 2006. I had been to many of doctors, and they all told me they had no idea what was wrong. And what were you noticing? What symptoms did you have? What? How did your life change? Well, first was balance. Um, losing balance real easy and falling. And then trying to walk backwards was like next to impossible. And then I found out that if I was going down the street, I had to hold on to a building or whatever may be there to avoid from falling. And it just progressively got worse. Basically, I was stuck in a recliner. <clears throat> um, I needed help to uh, get to the bathroom to do anything. I couldn't drive. Shaving, I had to give that up and go with the electric, which I don't particularly care for. Um, because if I went with a blade, I might have just cut my face off. So, um, and then as far as eating, uh, it's impossible to cut your food or to pick it up and eat it. Because anything you picked up, you know, from a tremor, you just lost it. So everything had to be cut real small for me and I had to use a spoon to eat anything. Uh, and then you have to worry about trying to swallow because you choke real easy. Um, sleeping, you can't sleep on your back, or at least I couldn't. I had to sleep in a recliner, basically. Um, wow. As far as life went, that wasn't much, you know. Driving was out of the question because uh, you can't get your feet to move to hit the pedals. And um, steering, you were all over the road, so that was out go to type something in, I'll hit a letter three, four, five times and I have to start over again. So it's very aggravating. You lose your patience real easy because everything you do, you have to do over. Sometimes four or five times. So um, you get to the point you just walk away from it. Well, just the medication for, for Parkinson's only, they, I was at the maximum dose of Carbolevo. Uh, which is a substitute for cinnamon, and also I was taking uh, amantadine, uh, which didn't do much good for me because one calms you down, the other one excites you, and they had no answers for me. How long did you go before getting treatment? Well, the only treatment I got uh, initially was uh, just drugs. Yeah, which all it did was stop the tremors, you know, just about stop the tremors, but it did, did nothing for you, but made you tired and went to sleep all the time. And it got, uh, you know, what, what kind of life is that? And um, I actually run out of options. So I thought, well, I have to give something else a try. So I came to see uh, Dr. Cook run. And he said that he would see what he could do. And ever since then, we've progressed. So from how you were then, Jerry, to how you are today, and after getting treatment with Dr. Cookerin and coming to see the doctors at Cookerin Chiropractic, how has your life changed? Well, I'm able to walk. I can, I, I can do some physical work, which I was not able to do before. Now, Jerry, what about driving? You couldn't drive when you came here. What about today? Are you driving? I'm, I'm driving now. I don't have a problem. Um, I do a lot of things that I couldn't do when I came here. Uh, as far as eating and so forth, I had no problem. Um, cooking, I could do all that myself now, which I couldn't before. And gardening? Oh yeah, well, I, I'm into gardening, so... Uh, <laughs> and that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, garden every year. Um, 
Let's talk a little bit about medications and the medications you're on for Parkinson's. What were you on? What are you on now? Um, and, you know, you've seen a little bit of a change in, I guess, your doses uh, from when you first started coming here to today. Well, just the medications for, for Parkinson's only, they, I was at the maximum dose of Carbolevo. Uh, which is a substitute for cinnamon, and also I was taking uh, amantadine. And after coming here, I diminished my dose on the carbolevo to uh, where I'm at now, which is the minimum amount that I can take.